Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. I'm going to be reviewing the Kaylee Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 fragrance. So this fragrance did launch in March of this year, so maybe about three or four weeks ago. And if you know, <laughs> you know that it took the internet by storm. So I did pick it up when it launched and I've worn it a few times already so I'm ready to go ahead and review it for you all. Now this fragrance is technically classified as a warm gourmand fragrance but it's most definitely a twist on a gourmand. If you're into gourmand fragrances this may not be exactly what you would expect because it's a little bit brighter than the average gourmand fragrance. Now this is a really layered fragrance. It is a niche perfume meaning that the house only makes perfumes and nothing else which usually niche fragrance houses put a little bit more into their fragrances meaning they're a little bit more complex and layered so let me quickly read you the notes of this fragrance the top notes is pistachio bergamot ice cream hazelnut rum and cardamom the middle notes is lily of the valley peony pear jasmine geranium white peach and raspberry and the base notes is whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy, lucum, tonka bean, sandalwood, cedar, and cacao. So when you hear those notes, I feel like the average person is going to think this is going to be a super sugary, sweet, marshmallowy, whipped cream, just over sugary smelling fragrance. And it's not really that. So let me refresh myself on the opening of this fragrance. So it opens up a bit bright. I think it's bright from the bergamot. You do smell a hint of a lemony smell, which is obviously that bergamot and it's bright and sweet and airy. You also start to smell a little bit of that woody smell, sort of woody slash nutty in a sense, but it's light, nothing too overly strong of a, of a woody or nutty smell. It's a very light woodiness but as it dries down it starts to become a little bit more warm and floral so when it completely dries down after about five to ten minutes or so it gets a little warmer it's not as bright anymore even though you do smell a hint of that bergamot but you start to smell that peony and those florals come in there you also start to smell that creaminess from the whipped cream and sandalwood that's just giving it a sweet subtle creaminess it's definitely not overly sugary like you would think. This fragrance is very well rounded and blended beautifully, meaning there's not one note that really takes over or anything super sharp or strong over another note. It's it's blended together really well. So you get though that woodiness, you get the nuttiness from the pistachio, you get that whipped cream and ice cream, the brightness from the bergamot, and it just really works. Now this fragrance does have a moderate projection. It's not one of those fragrances where when you walk in the room, the whole room's going to smell you. You're going to smell it about maybe an arm's length or less away. That's pretty much the projection. As far as the lasting power and how long it wears on the skin, I get about three to four hours before it starts to die down a bit and it becomes more so of a skin scent. And for me, it lasts all together maybe about six hours. So let's talk about who wears this fragrance. I feel like although fragrance is unisex, any fragrance can be worn for a man or a woman. I personally feel like it leans a little bit more feminine just because it is so soft and sweet and airy. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a mass appealing fragrance that you could just blind buy and everyone would love it. Although it's a really pretty light fragrance because it does have those sort of nutty notes in there. Scented nuts in a fragrance can kind of turn some people off and especially because it has those whipped cream notes in there sometimes milky or whipped creamy scents can kind of turn some people's stomach a bit but it's a really pretty fragrance so I would definitely suggest you go into the store and try it out before buying this is one of those fragrances that I could see a 10 year old wearing someone in their 20s 30s 40s and even 50s that's just how versatile it is when I picture an image of the person that wears this fragrance I 
picture a no fuss lady. I picture that no fuss chick that just has on jeans, a t-shirt, and some sandals or sneakers. I picture that really cute casual lady that has on that really cute sundress from H&M or Target. It's just a really casual, fun, and uplifting fragrance. I would personally consider this fragrance non-offensive. I think it could kind of blend in with the crowd. So this is something you could wear, like I said, to the office. You could wear it to church. You could wear it out to lunch, shopping, pretty much anywhere. I also think it may even be light enough to wear to bed. Although I do feel like this fragrance can be worn anywhere, I feel like it leans more so for daytime. Because it's so bright and sweet and airy, this is definitely something that I would wear during the day. I wouldn't wear this to like a moody, sexy date night or anything like that. I wouldn't wear it to a grand ball or something very formal. It's very much a casual fragrance. And I would actually consider this a year round fragrance. Like I said, it does have that brightness from the bergamot, but it's still a warm fragrance. It gives off a warm gourmandy feel because it does have that whipped cream and that cotton candy in there. It gives the gourmand feels, although it's bright, but the warmness in there from like the nuts and the cedar and the sandalwood. Because of that, I could see myself wearing it in the winter, summer, spring, and fall, but in the daytime. I would definitely recommend that you layer this fragrance with something to complement it. What that's gonna do is help with the projection and longevity of the fragrance. Because it does have the marshmallow and whipped cream notes in there, I feel like the Fenty Vanilla Dream body cream would go perfect to layer underneath this one. It's not too overpowering with the vanilla. It has an undertone of vanilla in there. So if you rub your body down with the cream first, with the vanilla dream first and spray this on top, it's really going to amplify that sweetness a little bit and help it to be a lot more long lasting. You should probably get at least another couple of hours of long wear with the layering. I would also layer it with something like a baby oil gel, but not the ones that are like super scented with something else. Just a plain baby oil gel, maybe like the aloe or something like that just so it can have something to stick to and project a little louder. Overall, I would say this is somewhat of a playful and airy and definitely sweet fragrance, but not overly sweet like you would think. But it's not playful in like a body splash or cheap smelling playful at all. Like I said, it's a niche fragrance, so it is layered and a bit complex. So because of that, it gives it a little bit more of an expensive smell while being casual at the same time. The packaging of this fragrance is pretty much the same packaging as all Kaoli fragrances except it has the sort of minty green color to the outside of it which makes it really cute in my opinion. And I feel like the price matches as well. You can get the 10 ml which is the size I have here for about $25 and it goes up to about $135 for the 3.4 ounce. Comment down below if you've tried the new Kaoli Young Pistachio gelato fragrance and what do you truly think about it was it something that had to grow on you or was it like love at very first sniff if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one Scars. Well, I don't have the answers.